We're looking at a 1973 Mustang with a 302 two barrel engine. Specifically, I want to get a video of the wiring involved with the alternator and voltage regulator. In this particular case, this is a first generation alternator which has what's called a rear terminal design. If this was a side terminal alternator, we would have a plug on the side of the alternator with a stator and field circuit terminal set plus the battery terminal. In this case, we've got the battery terminal Next to it, with the orange cap, is the field terminal. And way, way down in the back, Let's see if I can get a picture of that. Kind of hard to see, but we have a black shroud over a white wire with a black stripe, and that is the stator terminal. And where these wires go, is down to a wiring harness right here. That harness is bolted to a ground stud on the back of the alternator. And then it runs up and over to the voltage regulator which is typically the original units had a blue cover. The newer ones are flatter and with typically a silver color or metal cover. The wiring gets plugged into a four prong terminal end which is not hard to get out necessarily, but it can be a little tricky because there's so many wires down there. And there it is. Now, on the voltage regulator for terminal plug, we've got several different wires that plug into it. Back here, we have the orange hood terminal that is for the orange wire with what looks like either a light blue or an orange stripe, and that's the field circuit on the far right of this view. Next to that, we've got a white wire with a black stripe. That goes way in the back with a white wire at the black stripe going to the black hooded terminal. Then we have the yellow then wire the yellow with a white wire. dot and it leads up to the start of the relay on the positive battery yellow. terminal connection. Ends up going the other yellow wire with a white dot goes to a noise suppressing wire. capacitor that is bolted the near the base of the regulator the in most of these assemblies. But I believe that this last wire is what goes to the idiot light for the charging system condition or status. But anyway, these all plug into the voltage regulator on the side. Typically very easy to plug in, but it can be tricky. There. I got plugged in. 
and usually on those plugs they will have letters on there saying what they plug into anyway that's it it's that easy